Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Torin Atkinson. I'm going to turn my music down a little bit. Is that, is that a little bit? Oh, that's off. Okay. The problem is my computer volume. Let me change that. Instead of changing the iTunes volume, I'll change my computer volume. And if the levels aren't good for you, then please let me know in the comments if you're watching this stream live. Like Charles Smith Org. Hello, welcome. Uh, today, uh, as every Sunday, I will do uh, my 20 minute monster. I am doing presently, I'm going through the Fiend Folio. I'm on the letter C. I went onto social media last week. I did the Burbalang. And uh, uh, after when I did that, I said, What do you want to see for next week? And I listed all of the options, and the winner, uh, by a fairly large margin, I think, was the Karyatid Column. Let's take a look. Oh, before I get into that, don't forget, uh, find me on YouTube, on Twitch, on Instagram, Torn Atkinson Artist, and Patreon.com. Send me a dollar if you like what I do. And uh, let's, uh, let us now learn about the Karyatid Column. Uh, let me change my uh, my brush back to watery, watery nib. Okay, great. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, well, as we listen to Battle of the Planets music, um, Karyatid Column, a uh, number appearing 1 to 12. In Lair, uh, Treasure, no, blah, 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 blah. Where are we now? Um, size, this is the important stuff here. Oh, here we go. Size. Uh, seven feet tall. Pretty good. Karyatid columns. I don't know who did this art, unfortunately. In the Fiend Fellow. Normally I like to credit the artist, but it's unknown to me. Karyatid columns are much like stone golems in that they are created by means of a magical tome or by a magic user of 16th level or higher. Blah, 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 blah. The result is a slim, decorative stone pillar about seven feet high. A casual glance would reveal... Nothing more than this decorative piece of stonework, which will perhaps stand with an identical partner, either side of the entrance into a chamber, chapel, or throne room. Closer inspection will reveal that the column is not as would be expected. Radial symmetrical about its longitudinal, longitudinal, longitudinal axis and has the very slender shape of the human female. Once such detail has been discerned, it will be clear to the observer that one of the hands of the female, held close to her side, carries a slim sword, which blends into the rest of the stone so smoothly that it is near invisible. Although it doesn't look near invisible to me in this drawing. A caryatid column will always have a specific defensive function and will never be met as a wandering monster. Uh, okay, so that's all fine. Um, uh, the task will have been set by the creator who, if near at hand when the column animates, will be able to control it with simple verbal commands. More often, though, the creator is absent when the column performs its task, in which case it will follow simple courses of action which are pre predetermined by the creator. The caryatid column will activate as soon as any act is committed which its task specifically prohibits the approach of a potential thief towards the treasure uh, the column has been set to guard, an intrusion into a forbidden area, and so on. When it does animate, the caryatid column takes on a fleshy appearance. Oh, it reduces to about five and a half height, and its form expands slightly so that it now appears as a fair young maiden. Interesting. The sword, formerly of stone, becomes steel, and it is this weapon that the caryatid column will use in melee. Uh, however... The caryatid column will not necessarily enter into combat. Its main task is to guard the treasure, prevent intrusion, and similar tasks. And if it can carry out this task without combat, it will attempt to do so. Its behavior will depend on the circumstances and instructions. For example, it may attempt to divert the attention of intruding adventurers from the forbidden area and lead them to a place where they will be trapped, attacked by a monster, or subjected to spell. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, once the task is complete, it will turn to its original position and revert to its stone shape. Uh, if the column is killed, it, re it returns to stone on the spot. Okay, so this is the uh, the Fiend Folio version. There is um, 
There's a miniature I found of a caryatid column. Here is, uh, I guess this this is looks like that's this is done by Raven Mimura, uh, and that's pretty great from fifth edition, I guess. Um, but okay, let's put this on for a second. There is, I looked up. Um, hey, KV Radiation um, uh, is also in the chat. Welcome. You're seven minutes late. Okay, I haven't. It's okay. I haven't started drawing yet. I'm still doing the backstory. <laughs> We're five minutes in, and I haven't started drawing yet. So I looked up Wikipedia, and indeed, carry a caryatid. Turn on music again for me. It's distracting. It's distracting. A caryatid, caryatid, or caryatid is a sculpted female figure serving as an architectural support taking the place of a column or a pillar supporting an entablature entablature on her head. The Greek term karyatides literally means maidens of Karyai, an ancient town in the Peloponnese. Um, there's a little bit of... This is actually a pretty long uh, entry on Wikipedia. Um, is there any mythology? Um, the term refers to young women worshipping Artemis in Karye through dance. The term comes from the Spartan city of Karye, where young women did a ring dance around an open-air statue of the goddess Artemis, locally identified with a walnut tree. Okay, that's that's all very fascinating. So now we know the uh, the what the deal is with the karyatid column. Um, what else do I have? I don't need that anymore. I can delete that. I think I can delete that. Um, here's a couple of visual references I grabbed for myself. As you can see, these are the not nude versions. Fiend Folio had lots of boobies in it. And, uh, that's not a complaint. Um, yeah, all these ones have kind of dresses and, uh, I'll probably put some kind of a robe on it. And, uh, I guess we should get started. <clears throat> Let me take a sip. Let me take a sip. What time is it? 10.07. Fantastic. 10.07. So I want to be done by 10.27. Are, are you ready? Uh, oh, someone else is in the chat. Ask it, ask, ask it, Leon says, Woo, old monster manual. Yes, Fiend Folio. That was the second. That was came, it was Monster Manual, then it was the Fiend Folio, and then it was the Monster Manual 2 back in the old AD&D days. And I've done, gone through the entire Monster Manual. You can find it on my social media and my website, probably. TornAtkinson.com. Did you know? Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, still 10.07. All right, so what I want to do, I just want to block out the shapes here. I want to have a column here, the thing on her head, and then I want to have, like, a guy, a snooper. Uh, maybe he's like, he's. I don't want him to be fondling, but. <laughs> I like it already. He's a snooper. He's snooping. Maybe he's like looking up. We'll do the. It's probably going to be our good friend, um, the elf, whose name is Rudiger. We've used him many times in these drawings. And then, so, here's the floor. And then, um, I guess the roof, the, 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 the canopy? Here's the untoplisher. And then, see this, these lines, these perspective lines don't line up. Okay. That's like a little bit too, well, that might work. And then we'll have the other one coming around. It's come. He hasn't noticed that it's come off the column. You gotta get yourself some wobble columns, and it's gonna like fucking stab him to death. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's a little bit too big. Let's let's shrinkify him just a bit. Because well, he's an ah uh, maybe I don't know. Because she's on the plinth, right? Yeah, is that what you call it? If we'd step down from this area here, I'm gonna have to look at my reference, but this is just for blocking purposes. 
And they say they get smaller when they when they animate and become flesh like. She's gonna like stab him. Stabby stabby. Right? Right? Something like that? Alright, so that's our That's gonna be our basic. Let me get my reference. Plinth, what does the plinth look like? That plinth is too big. That plinth is good. Although actually let's uh this is pretty good. Let's let's flip this. Or flop it if you prefer. Transform horizontal, and I can just use that as a reference. Awesome. Things are going great. Uh the color I'm using is cobalt. So it's a cobalt caryatid column. All right, so we're going to be looking up a bit. 15, I feel, is a bit too small for my brush size. 25? Let's try that. Okay. So, all right. Oh, snap. So, we got some... There's the... And then something like that. I don't know. Boom, 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 boom. And then the other column will be... Here. Oh snap, what am I doing? More like that. So this will all be shadow. Darkness and shadow. And then uh, the, the, the plinth. I feel like I want to make that plinth bigger though. I feel like that's such a... No, I guess it's okay. Let's use this as a reference. Let's make this red so I can find it easier when I'm navigating. Okay. Something like that. Oh no. Oh no. This is, I feel like this is going to take too long if I. Okay. Head. The, the sublime. Sublime. Uh, beauty. The correct, the, the, what, what are the words I'm looking for? Art history. I took it. It was a long time ago. She's gonna have, she's definitely gonna have. Okay, so let's just do. Now I need my other reference. Here we go. Arms and everything. Beautiful. Um, Aski Tylion says, uh, this is giving me wonderful ideas for my one-shot convention campaign. Oh, good, 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 good. I will put her hand here. Why not? Why not just straight up copy this beautiful Greek? Oh, I don't like the... I need to change the brush on my... That's too rough. That brush is too rough. Wah, 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 wah. Wah. But she's got to be hiding her sword somehow. It's supposed to be like... <laughs> I don't know how we do that. <laughs> I have to change the... Yes, I would come down like that. I feel like maybe I should reference the original. Eh, something like that. Don't need to overthink it. Do we? Do we need to overthink it? It's not very. It's a weird shaped sword. Dun, 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 dun. Some spider music. So I feel like I should put Karyatid column. If I do another. So what I did some time ago was I. Um, this hand going here. It looks a little, that looks janky. <laughs> I made it. I fucked it up. I was gonna say I made a YouTube video of uh, that looks a little better. Toes. Something like that. 
Uh, I made a YouTube video. Um, D and D pronunciation, and Karyatid was not on it, but it could have been. So if I do another one, maybe I will. So I'm look at this reference for the for the drapery here. Look how they have it. She's got like a. Oh no. She's got a bundleage. I don't know what you call that. A knot, I guess. Something like that. Let's take this and make it a little bit lighter. Okay. What's going on up here? Let's look at that other one. She's got this kind of cool, I do kind of like this cool thing coming out from her head. I don't know if that's supposed to be like something she's wearing, but I like it. I like that design. So we'll do that. Bubes. Okay. Uh, and then we'll just do the bottom here. That's basically, we're basically done here. I feel like her nose. Maybe I can fix it up just a little bit. Nice gr Greek nose. Oh, she's got a little bit of a smile. Mm, she knows something that you don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like I messed it up a little bit, but... That'll be good enough for now. Good enough for a 20-minute monster. Let me throw on the base here. And Bob's your uncle. We got one karyatid column. Pretty good, pretty good. This would just be a suggestion of darkness. Because it's already 1017, oh my god. This one might go over a bit. Alright, so let's... I should have pulled up my reference of our good friend. Where is he? Oh, no. Where's Rudiger? There he is. Bring him in. Our good friend Rudiger. <laughs> the hapless elf. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to appreciate this artwork in his elf mullet? sword would be on the left hand side so we don't need to worry about that maybe he's
All right. Uh, where's his other leg? His other leg's here. Let's not get complicated. Something like that. I don't know what I'm doing. He's cure ass. Okay. And then his sword. Okay, great. Awesome. That's looking alright. How are we doing for time? 1020. What time did I say we have until? 1027? Okay, I got seven minutes left. Uh, okay. And then uh let me save my work, just in case something dreadful happens. Uh, let's make this a little bit... She was standing there. She was there a second ago. But now, Or would the plinth be on her head? I guess the plinth is kind of on her head, isn't it? Let me, let me take a look. Uh, in the... No. Damn it. My reference for... Does the plinth come with her? <laughs> or the entablature? Let me check out that Raven Manmura drawing again. Um, uh, maybe it won't help. Maybe I just... I'll just... I'll just... I'll just... I'll just draw it. Okay, so she... On the wrong layer. I don't know why I started with the boobs first. I mean, is there something, something going on there? happening in the chat? I haven't been checking. I've been so engrossed. Uh, Ask a Tilan Elf Mullet is my D&D Yacht Rock cover band. KV Radiation. He's very excited to be touching that thigh. Yes, a serious art appreciator. All true. Okay. And then let's put that thing on our head. Can't really see the top of it. Oh, and then add those things. Those things. I like it. I don't think it's turned out not too bad. If I do say so myself, and then how? Oh god, drawing the hands as always. Uh, drawing. Hands holding a sword. Something like that? I actually had a reference I grabbed here. But I haven't looked at it. <laughs> it's from my. I don't think I. I don't think I need to. And look at that's not really. It's not really helpful. I'm having the trouble. I'm having with this is. Shoulder. There we go. It's a little better. Ooh.
Something like that. Of course, everything's blue, so you can't tell that she's fleshy. It doesn't matter, though. Alright. What else do I need to draw that I haven't drawn already? Like what, what actually, where actually are they? I feel like maybe this should keep going. If we end this here, then I could end this. Here-ish? properly think about. <laughs> so she'd be stepping off her thing here. Her knee would be, I don't know. Let's get rid of that. Ba -ba -da -ba. Fix this up a bit. Give her a proper kneecap. Something like that. How are we doing for time? Oh, I got one minute left. Okay. This is all just darkness. The darkness. Let's make our brush nice and big. Something like this? I don't know. It's getting a little bit sloppy. Sloppy Joe, sloppy, sloppy Joe. Well, that's, uh, that's time. This is, let me just add a little bit of... There's going to be a stabbing. <laughs> Let's get this buttock a little more. A more sh heavier line on the bottom. We're assuming that the... Um... Yeah. All right. That's it. We did it. Guys, we did it. Normally I would put a... Oh, well, let's try it. I was going to say, like, normally I put in some extra shading. And I think I will. Like, what if? What if? Guys, what if? Just put in a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Something, something there. I think that helps. I think that helps. Don't you? She's kind of like lurking in from behind. I think that's, uh, I think that works. All right, so this is. Let me get back to my main. This is, I usually do it in white. Karyatid. Uh, actually, I should do it in a different way. Uh, KB Radiation says, Fantastic job. This is my first time catching one of these, and it was a delight. Well, thanks. I hope you, uh, I'm glad this time worked out for you. Uh, I'm here every Sunday. Column. Gotta get yourself some marble columns. And, um, 20 minute monster. Oh, now you can really see this brush I'm using as a watercolor brush because you can see it. It's a bit transparent, but that's fine. I think it worked out pretty good. Um, yeah, so next week, let's take a look at our options for D. 
What are the options for D? Stand by. Stand by. Got them here somewhere. Alright, I'm going to save my work. Save. Alright, we can check off. Carry out column. D, okay, I already know what I'm going to be doing for next uh, week. And there's a very specific reason for that. I'm going to be doing the Dark Stalker. Uh, I, I put a little thing here for Dark Creeper, but I think it's actually the Dark Stalker. Because it turned up in a Dungeons & Dragons cartoon. Uh, Dark Stalker. Dungeons Dragons cartoon. And I want to draw some of the kids. <laughs> Instead of drawing Ruggeder the hapless elf, uh, uh, I'm gonna um, uh, I'm gonna draw some of the fun. Maybe Eric, maybe Diana, maybe uh, Hank, maybe Presto. Um, but yeah, so normally I would uh, take a vote, but I'm just going to do uh, I think. It's the Dark Stalker. Um, yeah. So, uh, hey, subscribe to my Twitch channel if you haven't already. Like and subscribe. Uh, have a great rest of your Sunday. And uh, I'll see you guys on the internet.